So now that we've talked about how to create a parts list, we can now go ahead and start creating a pipe network. So the way that we're going to go ahead and do that is we're going to navigate to the home tab of the ribbon bar. We are going to select pipe network. And then inside of here, we have our options for pipe network creation tools, create pipe network from object. So if we had a polyline that we wanted to create a pipe network from, we could use this option here. And then we have our options for pressure networks, which we'll get to later. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is select pipe network creation tools. I'm going to end up creating two pipe networks. I'm going to create a storm sewer pipe network and then a sanitary pipe network. So what I'm going to go ahead and do first is create the storm sewer pipe network. I'm going to go ahead and call this network name storm sewer. And let's go ahead and call it dev storm sewer since we uh, have been calling everything else dev. So we're going to go ahead and leave it as the storm sewer parts list. We can choose what layers we want to have everything drawn onto. I'm going to go ahead and leave it as these options here. I'm going to go ahead and choose a surface. So if we are targeting surfaces, we're going to target our EG surface. Then from here, what we're going to go ahead and do is you could choose an alignment that this is associated to. We're going to create something that's not associated to any alignment. So I'm going to leave this as none. Then we have the options of our label styles um, for our structures and for our pipes. I'm going to go ahead and select both of these as none so that we can talk about adding the labels later. So what I'm going to go ahead and do now is click OK. And now we have the network layout toolbar that comes up. So what we have here as options are what pipe network properties we have. So our pipe network properties are our information, what our pipe network is called, what the layout settings are, so what labels are going to be placed onto the network, what parts list we're using, what surface we're targeting, what alignment we're associated with. We have the profile and the labels for that profile and the default layers for that profile. And so we'll get into adding pipe networks to profiles later. Same thing with sections, what layer to place your pipe networks into your sheet cross sections. And then we have our statistics for the network properties. So moving on from there, we have our surface information. So selecting our surface, which we also could have chosen in here, and we also could have chosen when we set up the network tool, the network layout tools. We also have the alignment selection. Then we have our option for our parts list. So we've set all of these already. So now moving on, we have two dropdowns. We have our dropdown for what type of structure we want to use, and we have a dropdown for what type of pipe we want to use. So we're going to go ahead and drop down into here, and you can see from our parts list that we looked at earlier under our settings tab, we had all of these structures inside of here. What we're going to go ahead and do is use a rectangular structure slab top rectangular frame. Well, let's go ahead and go with a circular frame for a manhole type structure. We're going to go 15 by 15, and then we're going to go to a pipe. We're going to go ahead and go with a concrete pipe, and we're going to choose a 12 inch concrete pipe. So moving on from here, once you've selected your structure and your pipe type, you can start going into how you're going to insert your network. So you have your structure insertion points. You can also have default connecting points and closest connecting points. So moving on from here, this is your layout methods. So you can do pipes and structures, pipes only or structures only. I generally like to do pipes and structures because we've selected our specific structure and our specific pipe. And then later, if we don't like those, we can swap them. So we're going to go ahead and now look at the next option, which is toggling upslope or downslope. So if you want to draft your pipe network going downslope, have it pointing down this pipe like this. If you want to draft it going from the bottom up to the top, then you 